So welcome back to another episode of Roots Unearthed. Today, we have our trusses. So I came to our land on Thursday, right before the hurricane hit, and there were no trusses. And then I came back Friday around 11 in the morning, finding multiple trees down, covering our driveway, and guess what? Trusses were delivered. So these guys came and delivered them in the middle of a hurricane. Crazy, right? But I mean, I'm thrilled because we have them. So uh, I chopped up about four trees, cleared our driveway, and we're very fortunate that that is pretty much all of our damage. Um, in North Carolina, a lot of people here have been hit really hard. Uh, my brother, who is living in an RV, lost his RV, lost his truck, and is very fortunate that he got up out of the RV in the middle of the night um, to go outside before the, before the trees hit. So definitely just a miracle, in my opinion. So uh, very thankful that we have been safe through this storm. Our house was not damaged, nothing was damaged, and so many other people have had much more of a loss. Um, so over the past two weeks, it's been doing nothing but rain, and of course we had this hurricane. But on Monday, apparently we're going to have these trusses put up. So hopefully we are under roof within the next week or two. Uh, we have over here, which came, a the radiant barrier, um, which is like plywood with tinfoil on it essentially. So this is for my roof sheeting. So very soon. This is gonna look like a house. So, very excited um, for this to finally get moving. Now, with all this rain, we've collected uh, about 500 gallons of water. And that's all we really can collect at this point in time. Let me show you our, our setup here. So we have the chicken coop, which has a gutter on the back, which goes into an IBC tote, which I, I've showed this a few times. But since that was getting full, I put our water bladder here as an overflow. Um, and this is a fraction of the height that it was at. So both of these were completely filled to the brim with water. And as of right now, I'm working on, see my little pump I rigged up there, moving all that extra water over to my extra totes here, uh, which we'll use later on. But the one thing that the rain did do was it really made us grass grow nicely. I mean, it was just two weeks ago, I think in that video where we planted this grass and it looks almost like a yard. So very happy with this growth so far. And you can clearly see where the spreader missed some seeds. What do we got in the garden? Nothing. Nothing? He ripped out all the tomatoes. I'm gonna plant some lettuce. Plant some lettuce? Yeah. Nice. They need a little bit longer. Yeah. Can you see that? Sorry. Do you see, well this one's dead, but do you see the big horn on mm -hmm. his butt? Mm -hmm. A big spike? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're called horn worms. Um, and there's they... one on your tip page. They can destroy tomato plants so fast. There they are. This one's probably the biggest. That one's a bad guy. Who knows what this is? Poop. Yes, that's Tarp horn. Worm, that's horn worm poop. Okay. They have huge turds. Yeah, and you'll find them just kind of blending into your tomato plants. Is this one alive? Yeah, barely. Um, they're really hard to see, and they act. They usually stand pretty still. Um, and they will actually turn into moths. I forget what kind of moth. We'll have to Google Bad it. moths that eat your, um, eat your plants? Uh, no. No. Can't oh, can we feed them to the chickens? What a yes. Cat <gasps> chickens love hornworms. I call a big one. So we can feed them to the chickens. <laughs> He's like, I don't know about these snacks. They're gummy worms. Just, just throw them in the ground. Get your gummies. Like, what is that? Everyone 
loves a gummy worm. <laughs> Well, that's it for this video. As I mentioned, framing resumes on Monday. So hopefully we have an awesome video for you next week. Uh, for everyone else in North Carolina, hopefully you are safe, dry, um, and didn't get too, uh, too damaged in this crazy storm. And the same goes for everyone else in that path from what Florida to, to really North Carolina. So, but thank you to everyone who has reached out and subscribed uh, for this journey. So until next week, we'll see you then.